Question number 13, which option shows the view from above the stack of disk? So if somebody is uh, looking at the stack of the disk from the top, we will look at the orange circle, then skin circle, blue skin and blue again. So option A is the correct representation here. It also has orange uh, skin, blue skin and blue. Question number 14, which of the following pictures will we see when we use the stamp shown? So, whenever we put a stamp on a paper, it is exact opposite of the shape that is drawn on the stamp. So if we look at all our options, this uh, option D is the correct um, uh, picture of the stamp because in this sphere is exactly opposite in the shape and in the direction as well then banana as well and then uh, apple is also exact opposite of the shape that is drawn on the um, stamp so option d is the correct option here question number 15 catherine builds a bed around each square using tiles like the one shown how many tiles does she use around a square with side five so here in the first uh, design, she used four tiles. In the second, she used eight tiles. So four plus four is eight. So in the third design, she will use eight plus four, 12 tiles. Option C is the correct option here. Question number 16. Each year, Maya received teddy bears for her birthday. For her first birthday, she received one teddy bear. For her second birthday, she received two teddy bears. For each subsequent birthday, she received one teddy bear more than the previous year. How many teddy bears does Maria have in total when she is six years old? So for every birthday, she received one teddy bear more than the previous year. So she is six years old. So we will count the number of the teddy bears for her each birthday. The total is equal to 21. So option C is the correct option over here. Question number 17, the sum of the five numbers in each house is 20. Some numbers have been printed over. What number is hidden under the question mark? So, so it is given in the question that uh, the sum of the five numbers of each house is 20. So here it is 6 plus 2 plus 5 that is equal to 13. So we will see that 13 plus what is equal to 20? What is missing over here? So 13 plus 7 is equal to 20. So now the sum of the dark gray house is 20 if we write 7 over here. These two circles are common for dark gray and light gray house both. So we can use this uh, 7 for the light gray house as well. So 7 which will be written uh, which will be split into these two circles. 7 plus 3 plus 1 that is equal to 11. So the total should be 20. So we will see that 11 plus what is equal to 20, which will come under this question mark. That is 9. 11 plus 9 is equal to 20. So option D is the correct option here. 9 is the number that should be under the question mark. Question number 18. Some lawns are shown below. Which lawn is the smallest? So here to find out the smallest lawn, we can draw triangles in the given green areas so if we draw triangles in the option a you can see there are one two three four five six seven triangles in option b after drawing triangles we can find one two three four five six seven eight triangles in option c there are one two three four five six seven eight triangles similarly there are eight triangles in option d and in option e let's calculate it it's one two three four five six seven and eight so as we can see in option a there are seven triangles which is less than the rest of the options so uh, option a is the smallest lawn Question number 19, Anne has four stickers as shown. She sticks down the star after she sticks down the square.
she sticks down the star before she sticks down the triangle which picture could she end up with so it is given in the question that she sticks down the star after she sticks down the square it means she pasted the square first and then after that she sticks the star so in all our options we can consider option c d and e because in option a and b the square is uh, pasted after the star which is not right first she has to she sticked um, square then after that she sticked the star we will consider option c d and e she sticks down the star before she sticks down the triangle it means that star will come first and after that on the upper side triangle will be pasted so we cannot consider our option c and d because in these two options triangle is behind the star which is not right because if she sticks the star before triangle so triangle will be at the upper side at the top side so only option e is the correct option in which she uh, sticked the square first after that uh, circle then star and at the end she sticks a uh, triangle there is no information about the circle given but it's obvious if we follow the uh, sequence for rest of the stickers the circle will uh, come somewhere so it comes so it comes um, after the square option e is the correct option here Question number 20, Dino moves from the entrance to the exit by going through rooms. He can only go through each room once. Dino adds up the numbers as he passes through each room. What is the highest total Dino can make? So here, when Dino will enter from the room number 1, he can go to room number 5, 6, 2, 3, 7, 8. And then he can go out from the room number 8. But in that case, he will skip room number 4 which is uh, not appropriate because we need highest total so we instead of uh, missing four we should miss some smaller number here one is smallest of all but we cannot miss it because this is the entrance room so we will try to skip two and see our total so when dino will enter into room number one he will enter to room, room number five from here then six after that 7, then he can go to room number 3, 4, and at the end, he will go to the room number 8, and he will exit from here. So in that case, he will skip room number 2, and the, the total will be 34. That is our option D. 34 is the greatest total here, because 36 is the total if we include 2 as well. But that is not possible in that case. He cannot exit from the room number 8. So, E is not in the option. So, 34 is the greatest total in rest of the options. So, that is the right one. Question number 21. In the picture, each shape stands for a different number. Which number should be written in place of the question mark? So, here we can use our first uh, number that is 18. We can see that the sum of the three squares is equal to 18. So we will divide 18 by 3. That 3, what's our 18? It's 6. So the value of one square is 6, which we can write inside the squares. Now we will use our second equation. We can see that the sum of the one square and two triangles is equal to 14. So we, will, we can find that 6 plus what is equal to 14? 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 and as there are two triangles and so we can take half of the 8 which is 4. So the value of each triangle is 4 because 6 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 14. Now we may see that sum of the two triangles and one circle is equal to 10. So we can think that 8 plus what is equal to 10? It's 2. So the value of the circle is 2. So 4 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 10. So now we can find out our, the value of the question mark. That is 6 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 14. So option C is the correct option here.
Question number 22. Three zebras take part in a contest. The winner is the zebra with the most stripes. Runa has 15 stripes. Dara has three more than Runa. Runa has five few, fewer stripes than Biba. How many stripes does the winner have? So it is given in the question that uh, Runa has 15 stripes. And Zara has three more than Runa. So it means Zara has 18 stripes. Now Runa has five fewer stripes than Biba. It means that uh, Biba has 15 plus 5. Uh, means 20 stripes. So because uh, Runa has 5 stripes less than Biba. So if uh, Runa has 15, so obviously Biba will have 5 more than uh, Runa. So it's option C. The winner will have 20 stripes. Question number 23. Kangi car can only turn left. It can never turn right. Which of the following 5 routes can Kangi take? If the car is standing over here, it will move uh, straight. Then it can take turn towards right side or left side. It has taken turn towards the left side. Here its position will be like this. Again it can move towards the left or right side. So it has taken a turn towards the left side. When it will reach to this corner, its position will be like this. Then again it can take uh, any turn left or right. But here it has turned towards the left side. Now if you will follow the pattern, uh, the route of the car will be option A. Because in this route, all the turns are towards left side. As compared to the other options. Look at this, if car is standing over here, it will move straight. And after that it will take a turn towards the left side. But at this corner, it is taking a right turn. So that's why option B is not correct. If we start from here, the car is going straight away. From here, it's uh, moving towards the right side. So C is also not right. In option D as well, after moving straight, the car is taking a turn towards the right side. In option E, the car is standing over here. After going straight, it is moving to left side. After that, it has taken a turn to the left side again. From here, uh, it has taken a turn towards left side again. But at this point, the car has turned towards the right side. So option E is also not correct. Option A is the only correct option. Question number 24. There are five numbered cards on the table as shown. You may swap two cards at each step. What is the smallest number of steps needed to put the cards into increasing order? So we can see this is our original number. Now in the first step we will swap 5 and 3. So the new sequence will be 5, 4, 1, 3, 2. As we have to arrange the card in increasing order. So now we will uh, arrange, we will swap 3 and 1. Because 5 and 4 are at the correct place. Now we need 3 as the third number. So we will swap 3 and 1 and we will have 5, 4, 3, 1, 2. To get the increasing number, we will swap 1 and 2 now. So the final sequence is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we need to take at least 3 steps to arrange the numbers in um, increasing order. Option C is the correct option here. I hope you liked my video, so don't forget to like and comment on it. See you next time.